What's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with more of our first Ikoria Sealed uh, that wasn't on a sponsored stream or a stream in general. We have decided to play with our first companion, and not gonna lie, it's gone pretty darn well. <laughs> pretty darn well. We're currently six and one, so if we win here, we're done with this sealed. If we lose here, then we will go to kind of sudden death mm -hmm. um, after that. But you know, I'm not planning on losing, so. Neither am I. I actually had no idea, going into the last video, I'll say, I had no expectations of whether we would you know, run the table or, or start losing a bit. We're facing Rickles Pickles. We have all three colors, so that's something. Boot Nipper on two, Keep Safe on two, Unlikely Eight on two, and then Starrix on five or six. So this is our only creature for now, but... Okay. This that's is an okay hand? Fine. Okay. Oh, right, and Kahira, silly me. Yeah. But, of course, we would need another green to be able to play Kahira. Right. Let's start with the black. Then Rickles we can go Pickles, green. Pickles, I think, is an actual brand of pickles. I could not tell you. That is knowledge I do not have. You might be wrong. <laughs> I kind of want to look it up now. All right. Uh, we'll give it Death Touch, even though this 1-1 one -one would kill it. But that's fine. They may be a spells deck, just based on this card alone. We'll see if their second color is blue. I do not have blocks for a one -two. That is fine. Nope. They're red-white. Ah, they have a three one. Okay. Well, we drew another black, not another blue. but Or not another green, I mean. But that's fine. Uh, we can pass. The nice thing is we do have Unlikely Aid or Keep Safe uh, for this turn. Ah, there are three colors. I was right. Um, oh, it is a brand new one. Interesting. It is, yes. Um, made in the USA. Um, it is a business out of Indiana. Okay. Fremont, Indiana. <laughs> um, I'm a little surprised that I knew about it, <laughs> slightly about it, then. But, um, yeah, and their logo is a picture of a pickle uh, with a sort of marigold mustache and <laughs> a mean top of pickles uh, and uh, red high top sneakers. There you go. Well, you learn something new every day. Yeah. All right, so we get Kahira now, thank God. So we have this 3-2 with Vigilance, which makes our 2-1 a 3-2 instead, so it can attack through this 1-1. One -one. Perfect. Beautiful. And yeah, Vigilance. I love it. Yeah, they're classified as a food service distributor, and the best part about this is it says, give your tongue a tickle. Yeah. Try a Rickles pick. Well, there you go. I wonder if uh, our opponent... Is hashtag sponsored by Rickles Pickles. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so this thing's gonna get Capture Sphere. Yes, definitely. Definitely gonna get Capture Sphere. Ah, we drew a Frost Links. All right, so I guess we could tap it down first. One, two, three, four, five. So <clears throat> we could play this outright, um, or we could do. I guess we could do. Oh, we only have one blue. So and we have three blue cards and a green card. We can't mutate this yet. Uh, let's go ahead and Frost Links the 2 3 for this turn. Because they are tapped out again. So we can at least do that. If they decide to double up, then they'd be able to kill Kahira. So I guess we'll just attack with the Boot Nipper again for 3. And then if they double up on Boot Nipper, I don't care as much. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're at least debating. Say. I'd probably just go to 15, but now we have three blockers. A 3-2, three, a 3-2, three, and a 3-3, three, because three, they all have Vigilance. Thank you, Kahira. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah. Ah! So we have to sack a creature. It will likely be the Frost Links at this point. Because the Boot Nipper has Death Touch, and Kahira buffs everything, so... 
if they attack with the 4-6, the Boot Nipper is the perfect blocker. And if they attack with the human, Kahira will block. Do you think she'll buff my toenails? Yeah, definitely. Look at her. Doesn't she look like uh, 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 an employee at a nail salon? <laughs> no. No. Uh, I agree. I feel like her horns might be good, like, files, though. <laughs> but, yeah, my toenails are looking kind of shabby. Gross. As of uh, COVID-19. <laughs> Gross. We do have clippers in the house, you know. Yes, we do. <laughs> I'm aware of this. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the boot nipper will just... Nibble them. Yeah, sounds right. All right, so they chose not to block again, although they considered it with their 4-6, until I think they realized the fact that uh, Boot Nipper has Death Touch and their 4-6 would die. So maybe I just play Boot Nipper number two. Death Touch on this one as well. Death Touch is better than Life Link. Mm, it definitely depends on the situation, but yeah, with Boot Nipper, Death Touch is better than Life Link, that's for sure. Um... And yeah, if the 4-6 or the 2-3 attacks, I will absolutely block with the Boot Nipper happily. Which one? Yep. Which one? No, I heard you. I said yep, because it's irrelevant. They're the same, literally the same thing. It matters. Hey, look, Yadaro. Oh. Yep. But this is sealed, which means they probably only have the one. If they're super lucky, they have two. Um, and so there's no chance that Yadaro uh, will get played this game. Duskfang Mentor, Mentor will give lifelink to, it looks like, the 4-6. Okay. A land and... What? Nothing? We do still have Keep Safe, although it doesn't look like we need it. Ah! Oh, perfect! Okay. All right, so maybe we don't block the Pyroceratops, and we just block the Chittering Harvester. We will lose one, and they will gain one, but we're at 17, and they're at 12, so I, I don't care that much. Beautiful. Done did it. Yeah. Okay. Kahira is three. Bootnipper is two, three, four, and zero. So we do have Extinction Event. Oh. Um, but now, notably, if we were to mutate Auspicious Starix onto Boot Nipper, then the converted mana cost would be odd. And so then we could choose even and get rid of the Pyroceratops and the Human Soldier. Mm. So maybe we... That sounds good. Yeah, it's just that we need another land. We don't have it. Oh. Um, which is unfortunate. Yeah. But I guess we go to combat and attack with the boot nipper again. Okay, we'll be tied at 14. Do we play this out as a 6-6? Six, six? I think we do. We'll play it out and then worst comes to worst. Yeah, it's a 7-7 seven, seven with vigilance. It seems okay. Uh, then we have yeah. Extinction Event, and we could choose even. We'll lose our Boot Nipper in the process, but uh, that's just fine. We have a 7 7 now, so I'm not too worried about it. The only creature they'll have left is this Mentor, so. He's just a number to you. Yep. <laughs> even number. Yeah. Exactly true. Uh oh. We don't have Keep Safe up. Don't kill something with your last card in your hand. Oh, crap. That's oh, such a good shit. card. Yeah. So a target creature fights another target creature. That's so crazy. they had our Death Toucher fight our 7-7, seven, seven, and they both died. Oh, hmm. That's a red card. Almost like red cards are good. I, I never said red cards aren't good. I just mess with you because there are times where you say that red's the best color, and times where you say that green's the best color. Because I'm gruel. <laughs> All right, so They're one, two, both three. the best colors. One, two, three, one, two. So we can barrier breach. Interesting. Crap. Okay, I think we have to capture sphere the Pyroceratops. They have no cards in hand, so they're top decking. Although, hold on. 
This is three. This is four. Yeah, so we're just extinction eventing here. That makes the most sense. And we'll choose odd. Or no. We'll choose even, because it will exile all the evens. We are going to lose two, and they're going to gain two. But yeah, they're checking. They're like, uh, what's it mean? Yeah, your two evens are going away, my friend. Even. Beautiful. Oh, it's exiled, not died. So actually, we don't lose two. Haha, -ha, perfect. Alright. And that's the turn. Barrier Breach is still there, so we can exile their uh, Bastion on our turn. Or on their turn. It has, uh, it is an instant. Yes! That's a good target to be tapped down forever. Because <laughs> it has Menace, and I don't like it. I'd love another land, like, at some point ever. There you go! I wanted it to be blue, too. Would you look at that? It's like it heard me. Um, we'll tap it down now. Good. And then we can attack for three again. And we have keep safe to keep Kihira safe. <laughs> uh, if they draw some kind of a kill spell or something. This is a much slower game, but it is looking positive for us, which I appreciate. Now, keep safe can only counter a spell that targets a permanent we control. So if they if they target capture sphere or Kahira, then we're good. They pass their turn. Whoa. Okay. Nice. We drew a heartless act. Destroy target creature with no counters on it. I don't have to do that yet. Let's go to combat first. We don't know what card they have in their hand, but that's what keep safe is for. Beautiful. They're at five. Okay. So we have six lands, so we can do barrier breach and or heartless act. We have a lot of answers to things that don't exist. Yeah, that's not that's not concerning to me, so that's fine. If they have another one, they can go get it, so there's that, but it's just a 1-1 one -one for now. Pass to attackers. They go to main phase 2, and before they end their turn, the Bastion is going to get exiled. Submit one. Perfect. Hell yeah. No more life gain for you. Uh, and then, does Heartless Act do anything here? I don't think I want it yet. Okay. A land that enters tapped and we gain a life. That's fine. Now, not if, but when they double block here, we can Heartless Act their Duskfang Mentor. Don't make me a liar. Okay, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna look for another one. It does enter the battlefield tapped, so okay. Now we go to blockers. See what did I say? When when they double block? <laughs> uh, sure, we'll order it that way. It doesn't matter because here it doesn't want to die. So we'll destroy a target creature with no counters on it. And we'll kill the Duskfang Mentor. And Kahira kills the one more. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. All right. This is going very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Keep safe does draw us a card. If we ever get to use it. Yes. Yes. So good. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> the last card in our hand. Beautiful. Blood card is pretty good, I've heard. Oh, god damn it. 
so many lands. Give me not a land now. We've drawn three in a row, I think. The island, the jungle hollow, and the forest. So give us not a... Ooh, primal empathy. Okay. All right. Uh, combat first. Attack for three. They still have one card in hand. And three lands open. Okay, they're at two. Primal Empathy. Now the problem is, we have nothing left to protect Kahira. So if they can kill Kahira somehow, this turn, uh, Primal Empathy will do nothing for us, because uh, we will have no creatures on the field. Right. But, if Kahira does not die, we draw an extra card. So, oh, okay. there's that. And Kahira doesn't have trample or anything, so they can easily block with the Whisper Squad and save themselves for a turn. But we do get to draw a card. Well, two cards. One for the turn. And... Oh, wait. Oh, this is a 4-4. Four, four. Silly me. But we did draw a land, which sucks. Uh, I guess we have to just attack then. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot that they had this 4-4 because four, four, it's tapped down. So I really was not expecting that at all. <laughs> That's fine. Yep. It's a chump block, but it saves them. Very good. They clearly don't have any more Whisper Squads, otherwise they would have done it. Okay. Moment of truth. I'm actually somewhat nervous. Uh, oh, they could mutate onto the Cavern Whisperer in hopes of making us discard something, but that will not let them win... Um, they're looking at their graveyard, which means they could be returning things from their graveyard, or like counting the number of, uh, like a number of cards or something, to see how many they've drawn, if they have multiples. Yeah! So they're returning a creature with converted amount of cost three or less from their graveyard to the battlefield, and they're making us discard a card, but they're mutating onto the thing that stays tapped because they want us to be able to discard a card and get this mutate ability off. That's very funny to me. Um, because I don't care what I discard here at all. Uh, it's the, the reason they're doing it is the returning thing. Um, and they're going to get back... Convertment costs three or less? I can't imagine what they're going to get here that's going to help. And we discard a card. Oh no! Whatever will we discard the green ghost? It's a 3-1. Okay, so it can block Kahira, which means we just wait, and we draw the Essence Symbiote and another land. Jesus Christ. Now the question is... No, that's not a question at all. We play this and pass. Because next turn, both of our creatures are lethal. There will be a moment where they will not draw a creature. Um... And so even though the 3-1 trades for either of our creatures, as long as we get in with one of them, we still win. So, yeah. You can mutate onto the Sabertooth. They're going to combat. And then second main, and then passing their turn, we drew an extra card. Oh, look, it's a flying card. Huh. Or a creature with flying. This deals one damage. Oh, no. <laughs> Charge of the Forever Beast, so we can deal damage to target creature equal to the revealed card's power. This only has one power, but this only has one toughness. So <laughs> Charge of the Forever Beast will target the Savai Sabertooth, revealing the Glimmer Bell. <laughs> Alright, um... Eh, let's just attack with the Essence Symbol. Perfect, we win. <sighs> okay, again, very slow, very grindy, a little nerve-wracking, but uh, we won. Yeah. That is a seven-win, one-loss sealed deck, Amy. What do you think? I... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. That's the best we've done in a sealed. Yeah. Because all the sealed... We've had a couple of seven-win seals. like in history. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, it's definitely the best we've done... In Ikoria, it um, when we did the stream, thank you to Wizards for the sponsorship, if that needs to be said. 
um, but also because we want to say it. We did. We had a couple of seven win decks, but they were two losses each. Yeah. This is only one loss. So we get three packs of Ikoria and 2,200 gems. Which is a lot. It is a lot. Uh, but let's go right back and start another one. Uh, and that'll be how we end this video. And then stay tuned for the rest of this week. Uh, and you will see the rest of our uh, of us playing this sealed. Yeah. We got Mecha Godzilla. Hell nice. yeah. Again. <laughs> well, it's the yeah, but again, that's for the um, that was in the stream. Oh. Which doesn't translate because oh, it's not that account. Okay, so we don't get to keep that. Stuff. Correct. Lame. <laughs> so now we have two of them though. We have the one from the last sealed, and now this one. And let's see what we get as our actual cards for the sealed. Well, we got Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> Oh my god. We just have a humans deck. Oh. With two mythics of humans. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So we could be three color humans, basically. Okay. Um, we also notably opened two companions that share a color and a gem razor with mutate that shares a color with both of the companions. That's insane. <laughs> So what are we going to do? I would probably still play these. So Winota has been so busted. We will obviously have to see what kind of humans we have, but I don't know that you've seen this card yet. So Winota is two white red for a 4-4 four, four legendary creature human warrior. Okay. Whenever a non-human creature you control attacks. So that can include Mechagodzilla or any other non-humans. Whenever a non-human creature you control attacks... Look at the top six cards of your library. Whoa. You may put a human creature card from among them onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Jesus. What? It gains indestructible until end of turn. Why? And put the rest of the cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. <laughs> and it's so unnecessary. <laughs> and it's a four mana four four. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's the downside to this card? Uh, yep, it's two colors, oh. so you got to play both colors, I guess. Yeah, that, I mean, it, what a toughie! <laughs> uh, Kudro or General Kudro of Dranith is one white black, so the white is the color that's shared between the two. Obviously, um, but we could then just play three colors. It would be Mardu, red, white, black, <laughs> but it's a three mana three three. Other humans you control get plus one, plus one. So Winota notably would be a 5-5. Five, five. And then any human that came out from Winota would be buffed plus one, plus one automatically as well. Yeah. Whenever General Kudro of Dranith or another human enters the battlefield under your control, which it would do with Winota's ability, by oh. the way, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. So that is not super powerful, but... But it's a thing. With that one, it is. Exactly. And for two mana, sack two humans, destroy target creature with power four or greater. So you basically get to, you know, arm these ballistae behind him uh, and shoot down these big monster creatures. Pretty sweet. Or, you know, behemoths, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Mecha Godzilla is amazing. We know what Mecha Godzilla does. Hopefully, other people do as well. I'll give you a second to pause the video and read what it does because it's very good. Um, or we could think about Umori, Karuga, and Gemraiser. Um, although Gemraiser, it's a 4-4 reach trample for 4, which is nice. Uh, when it mutates, you destroy an artifact or enchantment an opponent controls. That's not going to come up a lot. So, But what we can do is I'm very curious to see if with our gold cards, it doesn't seem like we got... No, we didn't. There's the... There's the um, uncommon in these two colors that says legendary humans you control have indestructible or, or something. Um, so that didn't work out, but that's fine. We did get this. I don't know how relevant it'll be, um, but we can... Would you like to try to make this deck? Yeah. Okay. So Winota gets in. Kind of how we can make it work, and then if it doesn't, we can swap this stuff back out for Correct. the other kind. You Correct. Know? We can try them both. Yes. So... Uh, if we're going Mardu, we have no fixing for it, because these two don't help us, unfortunately. Yikes. Uh, that's fine. Um, this doesn't either. 
And this doesn't either. Great. Yeah. Uh, although, if we're playing blue-green, then these help us a lot. Um, let's check out Mardu colors first, though. White, black, red. So this is a human. Yeah. This is a human. Yeah. Uh, this is a non-human, but we need that. This gives our humans plus one, plus one. Nice. This gives our a human plus two, plus two when it enters. Nice. Um, this gives plus two, plus two. Eh. Blade banish. This is not a human. This is a human and makes a human. Nice. This is not a human, but buffs our Obviously. whole team when it mutates. So that's very good. Uh, Night Squad Commando is fantastic if yep. you're in a human deck. We did get the Void Beckoner. Nice. We got two Void Beckoners. We're probably only only, only going to use one, but, you know, that's something. Uh, Blood Curdle is very good. Yes, it is. Very, very good. Uh, Bushmeat Poacher is a human, mm -hmm. so that's good. Uh, in, I don't think that card was good enough to make it into the deck, though. Uh, I mean, you're able to sack things and gain life equal to things' toughnesses and draw a card. So that is very good, plus it's a human. And if we're playing a human's deck, this will be very important. Okay. Um, I think red is where we're going to get our non-humans from, because we have... Well, first of all, we have two fire prophecies. Nice. We have um, one momentum rumbler, which is very good. Uh, we have the Rooting Moloch, which is good, and we have the Lava Serpent, which is good. Okay. So, yeah, let's try to put this thing together. This cares about menace creatures. This puts a menace counter. This puts a death touch counter. So, we don't really have a lot of menace synergies, but this is, cares about vigilance. So, we'll put the... We'll put humans in because they're humans. Oh, we have two of these. Okay, yeah. We'll put the Helicoglider in, because we need non-humans as well, as we learned. Aracorn gets in, Tiger gets in. I don't know that I love Coordinated Charge, but I guess with Winota, it's pretty good. We'll put in one. Deadweight's good, that gets in. Whisper Squad is a human, but we only have one of them, so that kind of sucks. Bootnipper's good, gets in. Call the Death Dweller is good, gets in. Night Squad Commando, yes. Blood Curdle, yes. Poacher, yes. Do we do one? By the way, we have two Gloom Pangolins, Amy. Yeah, pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, we'll put in both Fire Prophecies. Go for Blood is a fight card at sorcery speed. I don't love that. Shredding Sails is bad. Frenzied Raptor, no thank you. Momentum Rumbler, yes please. Rumbling Rock Slide, I didn't even see this before. I know. So good. Okay, that gets in. Um, Rooting Moloch. A 5-mana 4-4 four, four with Cycling 2. I like him, but I don't think he's that good. Not for our deck. Lava Serpent's great. Oh, that's 40 cards. Oh. Ha! Cool. All right. All right. Uh, what's our deck art? Is it just Winota? Because she's awesome? Um, sure. I like her. Okay. Well then, folks... That is going to be the end of this video because we already played some games and now we've made a new sealed. So stay tuned for more of this sealed. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Make your predictions. Yes. Will this deck do well? Will it not do well? Uh, leave your predictions in the comments below of what the record of this deck will be by the time we are done with this deck. Will we get to seven wins first or three losses first? You tell us and, you know, will it be like six and three or seven and one or seven and two? Or, you know, zero and three, if you want to be mean. Uh, let, us, and OB. Let, <laughs> let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Commenting like that, liking the video, subscribing, doing all that fun YouTube stuff helps us out immensely. Yes. We are hoping, uh, as Amy mentioned during the time of the coronavirus, we are hoping that everyone is continuing to stay safe and happy and healthy. We are fortunate enough to be able to socially distance and work yes. from home. Uh, and so we are staying safe in that regard. And we wanted to make sure that with any and all free time that we had, we were making more content for all of you. So hopefully you're enjoying the minimum of six uploads a week from us uh, here on the Geek For All family of channels. And from us here... I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.